What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. So I've got everything from like Model Zone, NYX, Revolution, Barry M. I've got a face mask, which I'm gonna be using in a second. You can get this from Primark. So yeah, a bunch of good stuff, or at least I hope it's gonna be good. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's get into it. So like I said, I have a face mask, which I'm gonna be trying out as well today. This is the Holler & Glow Stone Cold Sober Foaming Charcoal Sheet Mask. So you can get these exclusively from Primark, and as you can see, they are three pounds, so super cheap. So what this says on the back is, wash away your sins with this clarifying face mask powered by charcoal, tomato extract, and black mulberry extract. And you're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes, so let's give it a go. Oh my God, that smells so good. So just reading the instructions and it says, thoroughly rub the pouch to activate bubbles. I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing. <gasps> oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, it's actually foaming up. All right, let's open this baby up. I, I've literally never used a black sheet mask before. I swear, sheet masks always make my lips look Friggin' huge! Okay, so the mask is now firmly on my face. I'm now gonna go ahead and leave it 15 minutes. I'm gonna amuse myself for the next quarter of an hour and I will check back with you guys with my thoughts. Wait, 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 wait. I'm having way too much fun with this. All right, it's been a little over 15 minutes. Let's take this bad boy off. Oh, I'm just gonna like press that into my skin. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but that's actually giving my skin a really nice glow. It's kind of less intact to my skin as well, so I feel like that would be a really, really nice base for makeup, because normally I like using primers that have a little bit of a tack to them, but this has kind of left my skin with a little bit of tack as well. So yeah, I really, really like how that's made my skin feel. I really like color and glow masks, so if you're in the market for a new mask, head on down to Primark. All right. Let's move on to the makeup. So, so next we move on to foundation. Now this isn't a new product by any means, but I've personally never tried it. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation. Apparently it has medium coverage, so I'm keen for that. Damn Rimmel, why you make this so hard to get into? So I've got mine in the shade True Beige and looking at it now, I'm not sure how it's gonna look, but we'll see. It has a doe foot. I know people always complain about like doe foots on things, but I freaking love it. I love being able to just do this. It's so easy. I love the smell of Rimmel foundations. I swear it just brings me back to like my childhood or something. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Let's just blend that in. Oh, looks like we've got some coverage. Okay, also looks like this is actually too dark for me now. Interesting. Def it's definitely a color we can get away with. It's not my perfect color. And I think concealer will definitely have to help me out in a minute to kind of like brighten me up a bit. But like, that's literally gone like orange on my forehead and you are talking to the annoying orange right now. I mean, yeah, despite the fact that it's not the right color for me because it is too like orangey peachy, I actually like how that looks. It's blending out nicely. It's got decent coverage. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Let's move on to concealer. So this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix anti out my elbow. Anti-fatigue concealer. I love the Healthy Mix foundation. I used to use it all the time back in the day and I do still use it on occasion now, but I've never tried the concealer. So I've got mine in the shade 52 medium. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, that's a lot more yellow. So hopefully that'll kind of like balance my skin out a little bit. I know it's like a weird thing to mention, but this doe foot is very smooth. Do you guys know what I mean? Sometimes doe foots can seem like a little bit scratchy but this one is very smooth. Congrats on the smooth doe foot, Bourjois. All right, I think that's enough. Let's see. Yeah, good color. This, I feel like, will kind of balance out the foundation a bit. Again, blends out really, really nicely, no problems there. Not giving me as much coverage as I'd want under my eyes. That's the only thing. But yeah, that's really helped to balance everything out. I mean, you can still see a bit of the darkness, but you know me, I'm always comparing things to Bye Bye Under Eye but it's a completely different like style of concealer. This one is more of like a liquid than like a cream like Bye Bye Under Eye, but yeah, that's nice. So then I'm gonna move on to two different cream highlighters that I have. One is from Sleek, it's the Strobe Dome in the shade pink. That doesn't look pink, that looks more like champagne to me. Okay, maybe it does look pink. Oh my God, that is intense. If that doesn't work on the face, then that is definitely gonna work on the old body. 
Yes, yes, yes. Hello, how you doing? At least we know it works on the body. So then I have a new shade of the Away We Glow um, NYX highlighters. Tried one of these before. I have the shade... You know what? I don't remember what shade I have. I'll try and remember to link it down below, but this one is a new one to me. It's in the color Crystal Glare. So I'm gonna put that one on first, I think. And I'm gonna try it with the brush first. Oh, that's like wet look skin. You know, that actually gives you like a full on wet look glow. You can't see it on your skin at all. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a second because I wanna try the other one out. How are we gonna do this? I think if I swipe that on my skin, it'll like take off the foundation or something. So I'm gonna take my fingers and just, just, just rub it. Just rub it, this, this could look very dodgy. Am I the only one with my mind in the gutter? And then, oh my God, okay, this is more intense. It's like mating season for the seagulls at the moment and there are loads of seagulls where I live. And I can definitely hear them banging. They are definitely having sex right now. Okay, yeah, this one is a bit more intense, the sleek one. This one's a bit more of a soft focus. This one's a bit more glowy. So it kind of depends on what you want, but I like both. Let's just take it down. Take it down now, y'all. One half this time, bam. Two halves this time. Why am I singing cha-cha slide? So then I think that's everything for creams. Yeah, I think that's everything for cream. So next I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Brow Intensity um, brow pencil thing. I think it's like a, I don't know. I originally thought this was a brow pencil with a brow gel, but I think it's like a brow highlighter actually. Yeah, so that's some kind of like brow highlighter. And then, how do I take this out? Okay, double-ended brow sculptor and highlighter. Okay, so it's got a little, ooh! I thought it was just a brow gel, but this is actually like, it's kind of like the L'Oreal one that I've used before. I don't know if you guys remember, but it's got like a sponge applicator here, and then it's got the actual brush. So you can like, add a little bit of color to your brows. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the little like gel sides. The bristles are like very close to the actual like sponge applicator. All right, let's see how we can do this. Um, I'm gonna, I've already got it where I don't want it. Let me just try this thing first then. Colors all right, a little bit too warm for me, but it's fine. Um, the one I have is in the shade dark. This is not easy, you guys. That looks like I've literally just, I don't, I don't even know. I messed up. This is very difficult. Okay, uh, my brows are looking interesting. This one is passable. This one is a friggin' mess. Like, it's very thick, it's very thick. Um, In the nicest way possible, Sleek. That's kind of crap. Anyway, let's move on. So next we're gonna try out the Barry M Ready Set Smooth Loose Setting Banana Powder. I've tried the original powder from them, but we have a banana powder, so I'm gonna whack that under my eyes. So I'm just gonna give this guy a little shake, get some of the powder out there. Oh, I remember it had this design flaw. If you don't have your puff in there, if you've used it up or if you lose it or something, it gets all over the mirror. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of that on my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes with that. That is actually really, really finely milled and that's smoothing my under eyes out like crazy. Seems to have brightened up my under eyes as well. Cool. Yeah, that's nice enough just as like a banana powder. If you're in the market for one, this one's all right. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and just take my Laura Mercier powder just to kind of like set down the rest of my face. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Happy with that. Base still seems pretty good. Doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It's just the brows. It's just the brows. But hopefully by the time we get the rest of my makeup on, these won't look as crazy. So then for bronzer, I have the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Looks like this. It's got like a a lighter colour bronzer on one side. It's got like a kind of like iridescent pink thing on it, which I don't really know what that's about. Um, but it's just like an overspray. And then I think the colour we're gonna be focusing on the most is the darker one. So that's the two colours like separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Zoeva Cream Cheek brush and do a little bit of contouring with that. It's definitely taking its time to kind of like build up a bit. But if you do like more of like a natural contour or bronzer, this seems okay so far. So far this is okay. I'm not like, oh, this is like my new favorite drugstore bronzer or anything like that. It's working for the look I'm doing now, but, but I can't really see me using this as like an everyday bronzer or anything. It's okay. It's not my fave, um, 
but it does the job. So the next thing I have is from Revolution Pro. I got a ton of messages to try this out because apparently these are a whole lot better than the like quad part that I tried because I really wasn't keen on that. Um, so this is the Supreme Highlighter Palette in the metal colors. All right, let's give these guys a swatch. Oh my God, these are, whoa, okay. This is what I remember Revolution Highlighters to be like. They do have a lot of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm not bothered if the highlight is good. That's all I care about. So let's do this. Mm, mm, do the highlight dance. Yes, yes, yes. Love that. See, that is what I wanted the 4K palette to be like. These aren't glittery at all. They're just, they're just great. They're just flipping great. Definitely recommend these over the quad that you can get. I just think the formula is a whole lot better. Dot that on the nose. Love that. I'm gonna do my inner corner. Look at that inner corner highlight. Look at it. I love this. I was a little bit nervous because after not liking the last highlights that they did, yeah, I was nervous. I was thinking they changed the formula. What is happening? What's going on? But you know what? These may actually even be better than the regular Revolution highlighters. So yeah, I definitely recommend this palette. And I mean, these on their own would make really, really nice eyeshadows as well. I might do that actually. I might use that as an eyeshadow in a minute. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the NYX Lid Lingerie and Cosmic Metals palette. So I got these in my recent NYX unboxing and I swatched a few of them. Let me just show you guys. Like these shades here kind of like more neutral ones, like look at that. Actually looks quite similar to the Revolution palette, you know? Let's swatch them next to each other. Yeah, fairly similar, okay. So the Cosmic Metals palette is just a bunch of shimmers. You've obviously got six shades there and then the Lid Lingerie palette is just a bunch of kind of like warm tone mattes and you've also got this like cool tone lilac color in there. So even though we've already powdered down my lids, I'm just gonna go in with this shade up here, just using a fluffy brush. Oh, this brush is shedding. I oh, know, it's just cat hair. It's just Michael's cat hair. So I'm just gonna pat that all over the lids. So then I wanna kind of use as many colors as I can here. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, just using the same brush. I'm gonna work that in my crease. I'm then gonna go in with this shade here, this more darker brown, and I'm gonna work that on the outer corner of my lids and just kind of like buff that in a bit. Oh, that blended out quick. That blended out really quick. I mean, let's face it, I'm not gonna create the most crazy eye look ever using this palette, but everything seems to be blending out nicely and Let's face it, it's like a nice kind of everyday palette if you just wanna use some neutrals. So then I think I'm gonna go in with the Cosmic Metals palette and I've got a red lip that I wanna do today. So I think I'm gonna mostly focus on the neutral shades today. I've also got a dinner tonight, so I don't wanna look absolutely insane. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this shade here, this like super bronzy color. And I'm just using a blank canvas E3332 brush. I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. You know what, that's actually a lot more subtle than I thought it was gonna be. I thought these were gonna be like super, super intense, but again, these are just like a nice sort of wash of color. So then I think I'm gonna go in with this like goldy shade here maybe. Or am I? Let me swatch those again. Yeah, I think the gold. I think the gold will do. So I'm just gonna wipe that on my legs, on my pajama bottoms because I'm not dressed on the bottom half yet. And I'm gonna Pop that on my inner corner. And because obviously I did say I was gonna use one of these highlighters as an eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the darker one in the palette. Oh, I love these. And I'm gonna press that all over the lid. See, that is way more intense. That's what I was kind of expecting these guys to be like. I'm then gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and take this dark chocolatey brown shade again. And just run that on my lower lash line. All right, so as always, I'm now gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll check back with you guys for the lashes, the other lashes and the lips. All right, I'm back, eyes are shadowed. So next we're gonna move on to mascara. So for that, I have the Model Zone Hyper Eyes Lengthen and Curl Mascara. 
God damn, these companies like to do long ass names. So I've used a model zone mascara before. I think it's called the Grand Master Lash, Grand Lash, something like that. Um, and it's sick. It's literally one of my new favorite mascaras. It's like super thickening, super, super volumizing, voluminous. You catch my drift. So uh, I'm very curious with this one because the only other experience that I've had with model zone is a very good one. So it's got a lot to live up to. So this is what the wand looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little hedgehog. So grab some of this who is messaging me oh it's ollie that's fine go away so let's give this a go okay doesn't adhere to my lashes as well as i was maybe hoping like it doesn't feel like there's much product on this even though i made sure that i picked up you know something in the tube it does seem to be giving my lashes a quite nice curl I wouldn't say it's overly lengthening i mean i gotta say i'm excited that i'm wearing falsies because this as a mascara kind of doesn't cut it for me. For like a super natural look, then yeah, fine. Like if I wasn't wearing anything on my eyes or anything like that, fine. It's not bad. It's just nowhere near as good as the other one that I've tried. But then again, I mean, it's personal preference. So yeah, I'm not loving it. It's not the worst but I'm not loving it. So like I said, we are gonna be adding some lashes. You guys may recognize this packaging. It's the So Su by Susan Jackson lashes from Primark. I've tried these before and I love them, but I'm always getting recommendations from you guys about different styles. I've tried Dubai, I've tried Milan. I think I've tried Paris. These are the London ones and they also look really nice. So I thought I would give them a go. So I'm then just gonna glue these bad boys up. I always use duo glue. I get some questions about what lash glue I use. I use duo. I've always used Duo, I like it, but I use the green one, latex free, so if you have allergies to that, it's a good one to go for, and you've got the little, like, stick thing, so it means it's a whole lot easier to use. So I'm gonna leave them for a minute, maybe two minutes, we'll see. So next one I'm gonna do is just get rid of my crusty lips, add some lip balm. So next to my lips, like I said, I'm gonna be wearing a red today. This is the incredible Matte My Day liquid lip paint in the shade I'm Very Busy. Let's just give this a swatch. Nice. Oh, they smell of something. I'm not sure what. Kind of smells like something I would drink when I was like way underage. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, very, very opaque, which is good. It's got like a nice sturdy doe foot. Does that make sense? Like I'm so over the weird doe foots these days. I just like one like this that kind of hugs the lips a little bit, but still sturdy. Cause otherwise if they're like too fluffy or too bendy, I just find you can't get a good like line on your lips. Like you do seem to have quite a lot of control with these. Oh, we definitely messed up on that outer corner there. But what I'm gonna do is just so my lashes don't dry up completely, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with them quickly. How are you doing? Let's see how these bad boys look. They're nice. I was actually expecting them to be like way too over the top, but now that I've kind of like cut them off a little bit, yeah, I like that. It gives my eyes like a little bit of a swoop, which is what I love. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. Finally managed to get this eyelash on. It was really just not wanting to stick to my face today, but love how they turned out. As always, let me know what you guys think of this look in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried out any products that I tried today and let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys. I'm about to go and eat my weight in Indian and I will see you in the next one. Bye.